Merry Christmas, everyone. Um, is the season of giving, and me and my buddy No Luck wanted Hello. to deliver you this extremely weird present of Naruto versus Santa Claus. Now, oh yeah, had, do you think anyone's thought about this before? Um, I've seen some really weird, some really weird, weird fanfics on like 4chan, Reddit. Um, but I don't think they've thought about it in a uh, in a confrontational kind of way. I think they thought about it differently. So, no, we'll, we'll probably be the first. Yeah. I asked Nola because Nola's been around a lot longer than me. He's been debating fiction for years and years and years. That's why, why I broke him on. He likes to do <laughs> extremely weird shit like this. He's, he's the best pick for the video for sure. And definitely go check out his channel. Uh, we did a video yeah. on his channel a while ago on JJK stuff. Um, I'm going to upload some more of that stuff here in the future. But yeah, go check out his channel. He's also got you got a video with Seth too, right? Yeah, I think uh, I think we did an interview. I don't know. I was blackout drunk during that, so I believe it was an interview. <laughs> anyway, I'm sh sure it was something like that. The the way we're gonna set this up, right, would be like imagine Naruto's in Konoha on Christmas Eve, right, and then Santa flies in on his sleigh, and the Yamanaka clan alerts Naruto, like enemy, enemy chakra in the village. And then Santa, like he does naturally, breaks into someone's home and they catch Naruto catches him red handed, KCM. He's like, why are you breaking into someone's house? Now, we'll take Naruto a little bit out of character from there to where like when Santa starts explaining, Naruto's not going to listen and he's just going to start trying to jump him. <laughs> but that's, that's the only that's Bro. the only out of character part. We'll, we'll, it's like we'll one of those up. it's one of the, like those sitcom situations where like there's totally a good explanation but it looks so fucking bad that you just can't you can't talk your way out of it without catching hands like yeah that's what i imagine this going yeah exactly exactly like naruto's like grumpy because he just woke up we'll imagine it that way <laughs> so san is powerful just blatantly san's is strong as fuck there's some like versus battle wiki list a few different forms of santa but like even the standard one that you just hear about, like the the song you hear in like elementary school, he's strong as shit. Like he knows when you're yep. sleeping, he knows when you're awake, he knows yep. if you've been bad or good. So be good for goodness sake. Essentially, he can see everyone at all points in time. Yeah, and like the bad or good thing, I saw this weird uh, this weird <laughs> interpretation one time that Santa has like. He has like intention sensing that's apparently better than like than like Goku when he can sense the hostility in certain things or that kind of deal. So Santa might actually know what kind of person you are when they say he knows if you've been bad or good. They might be referring to like he can see into your soul, see like the <laughs> malice going on in there, bro. So then on top of that, right, if he can see like everything you've done, right, should Santa also not be like an extremely experienced fighter because then he'd have to have seen like all the boxing matches all the <laughs> ufc matches i mean bro he's probably he probably watched naruto right <laughs> so, so so he probably he probably has like naruto's fighting style down even though he knows naruto naruto should be a good person i can't think of any evil things naruto's done on top of my head maybe i'm tweaking no, yeah, Naruto, Naruto has done anything evil. Aside from the bad shit he did when he was a kid. He was, like, painting the Hokage monument. Yeah, like, so, when he, when he like, farted in Kiba's face. That shit was foul. Yeah, yeah that, that was, oh was my bad. god, that was, that was disgusting. Um, <laughs> so, like, I have this weird argument, right? That maybe, maybe Santa has sage mode. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? You want to hear it? <laughs> Dude, we need to hear it. Okay, so... My argument is, you know how Santa, like, he basically emotion controls his reindeer? Like, right. all the reindeer hate Rudolph. But then, as soon as Santa, like, appoints Rudolph, like, to, to, to lead the sleigh, before he even leads it, all the reindeer love him, because Santa does. So Santa may be, like, weirdly in tune with nature, and he can just sway the emotions of his reindeer. 
Yo, what if that extends to like the sage creatures and he just drops Gamma Bunta on Naruto? <laughs> He's got a somebody contract <laughs> with fucking Bunta. Oh my god. <laughs> What type of toys do you think Santa would throw at Naruto? Because he's got to have some. Well, apparently he can make anything. So part of Santa's lore is that in his workshop, like, what, there's like an exact saying, but it essentially implies that nothing is beyond the, the magic of his workshop. So he can pretty much create anything, which, number one, is reality warping. So <laughs> as far as toys, what if he just, like, what if he just brought like some some chakra rods or something like the ones that who was I think it was Ichi he stopped both Sasuke yeah, yeah. yeah Sasuke and Naruto he might literally just have those on deck and just like shish kebab <laughs> Naruto off top. Oh my god! What just, if he like, pulls out like a ghetto statue or like a, a handmade bro. ring on? <laughs> he just he just rips Karama out of Naruto. <laughs> Let's talk about what Naruto could do, right? Cause we we've we've jerked Santa off to the maximum. Right, Naruto, he's got precog, right? He's got precog via Sage mode. So maybe like Santa's UFC boxing experience just won't do much because Naruto could just like precog all his moves. But then I guess we could just talk about how fast they are. So do we count Santa's sleigh and Santa's like having the same speed? Because the sleigh is what gets him around everywhere, right? Um, so kind of, so when they say he has to deliver all these presents, either depending on your interpretation, either all at the exact same time at night or all in one night, that means he has to get off the sleigh eventually. Cause obviously since there's no damage to the houses that we've ever seen in these stories, he's not driving the sleigh into people's living rooms. So he gets mm -hmm. off of it at some point. So part of his delivering presents to every house in a night feat is his own speed. If that's the case, bro's stealth stat is maxed out because <laughs> nobody's ever caught him. <laughs> the only reason, only the only reason they're even catching him in the leaf is because they have like the sensory bubble. True, they've got like sensory ninja in there, like, which is hilarious to me. Like, does that mean? Does that mean it's possible to get past them? Because Obito got past them. Like nobody knew he was in the village. Yeah, well that's except because for, like, Minato, when he attacked him. That's because um Obito had his chakra like registered with the leaf. So when you enter and it's registered, it doesn't there's no detection like alarm set off. That's how like Koji could enter the village, because he had Jiraiya's signature. And like Hitachi ah. could, and they didn't know. But when Pain enters, they're like, oh shit, fucking Pain is here. Because his chakra's not <laughs> registered. Wait, how does Orochimaru interact with Santa? Santa's I think he would study Santa. I think he'd do what... He would be so interested in that Santa body. Like, oh he would my, want bro, his he's powers He's definitely more than he wants snatching to Santa's body. <laughs> like, he's, he's trying so hard to snatch Santa's body. Santa knows immediately. He sees Orochimaru. Immediate naughty list, motherfucker. You mentioned earlier, Santa, like, might pull up with a ninja tool. Does Santa True. come with the ninja tools... They just absorb chakra. So if Naruto comes out there with a Rasengan, he's just negging the Rasengan. Uh, pretty much. And isn't there a isn't there a tool to like make make shadow clones? So yeah. couldn't couldn't Naruto end up fighting a bunch of Stanas? That is ridiculous. <laughs> <I'm> just. <laughs> what if he what if he comes with another Nine Tails? Jesus Christ. Do Nar do Naruto and the other nine tails like connect? Does he can he take it from Santa Claus? Can 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 Naruto take nine tails Jinchuriki Santa Claus? <laughs> can he this take his so nine weird. tails away? <laughs> we've now got like we've got QB mode. We got KCM Santa just pulling up on the Leaf Village. Like I don't know where we're going with this. Fuck that. However, fuck that. we got Baryon mode Santa. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that is the most powerful form of Santa because apparently he's immortal. Like, just the on lore alone, he's lived forever. And like, even if we just go off like how long Christmas has been a tradition, it's like seventeen hundred years or something like that, compared yep. to Naruto's like hundred, hundred and twenty years tops. Like, right. if they had a burying mode fight, nah, that's GG. Yeah, that's GG like, for for Naruto. Bro. The, the Nine Tails, since it gets connected to Santa's chakra, would then also just like be able to keep Baryon mode going. 
So then yeah. the Nine Tails would become immortal. So so Naruto just Naruto at that point Baryon mode Santa Claus just beats Naruto. I hate saying that. I hate saying the sentence. <laughs> but Dude, yeah. I love this so much. Baryon mode Santa Claus is just beating Naruto, even in Baryon mode. What about Juby Santa Claus? Um, I think Juby Santa Claus would be fine because isn't like a whole big part of controlling the Jinchuriki like just being able to control your own energy well enough and your own natural energy well enough yeah you need to you need to control like your own mental state well enough like you need to be able to handle like so much power going into you because like and i've said this in like 10 other videos i'm sure people are sick of hearing me say this but like kisame says to be like you shouldn't be able to control so much chakra without going insane uh and then obito you know when he gets to juby he does go insane from getting so much chakra and when he gets the Renegon, he's like, the Renegon has so much chakra, I was starting to lose myself. So like having so much chakra can start to like mess with you mentally. And you, you know, obviously chakra is both mental and physical. So you need to have that mental part um, in order to be at 100%. Santa has to process the actions of everyone alive and just figure out if they're good or good or bad. Mm -hmm. So I think I think when you can do something like that, yeah, I think your I think your mental game's tight, low key for sure. So, I mean, we don't have any feats like that for Naruto. He's stressed out just being the Hokage of one village. Yeah, so, with paperwork. So with I mean, paperwork, does Santa get the like infinite Sukiyomi Rene Sharingan eye? Well, he has power over Christmas trees, and the God Tree's a tree, so I think he gets it. Yeah. Sure. Oh my god, he'll turn the god tree into like a big <laughs> Christmas tree. <laughs> like chakra fruit ornaments. <laughs> we'll just go off track for a little bit about Itachi. You think like maybe one of the reasons Itachi got so strong is because he was like mentally training in the Tsukuyomi realm? Because you can't put Genjutsu on yourself, right? Like we saw Sara to do it in the Borto anime. But like if Itachi like put a mirror up, went in the Tsukuyomi, like thought for. I don't know, a year in a pico second. Can you get like a crazy mental amp like that? Well, I actually have some thoughts on this. I'm very happy you asked, Six. So there's um, there's a statement. I think it was, it's either in a guidebook or it's in one of the light novels that the Uchiha actually gained power from like despair, anguish, negative feelings. And technically Itachi has been an incel his entire life, despite being a goat. And I think that that kind of mental strain is what makes him so powerful because as far as we can tell, Itachi's been a virgin forever. So, yeah, I mean, I think that's yeah, what makes him so weird, strong. weird, weird side point. But I had to bring it up because I just I just thought about it at the top of my head. Um, <laughs> is there anything else to go over? I mean, like, it's it's pretty clearly in Santa's favor. Like, yeah, Santa whoops the whoops the brakes off the Hokage of the village who are I, I guess he's still the strongest in the village do you think there's anyone else if they all jump him is there anyone else who's really gonna gonna press this man so maybe maybe they could pull off like borto karmas him into another dimension and he gets like bfr'd and then they just <laughs> never go there again because he tends is too tough <laughs> Bro, i would like borashiki comes out just starts whooping to stab santa in one of his eyes even oh, then, no. I actually think. What's up? What What if Santa just makes a karma, <laughs> and then he just comes out? <laughs> what if, I mean, he can make anything. What if he puts a karma on Naruto, and Naruto Bro, becomes Santa's oh. vessel? Dude, <laughs> Santa might enslave the village. Like there, and like all everybody he marks with his karma, it's just like more elves for him. Like holy. <laughs> This could be really bad. Like this, this actually would be worse than the Obito invasion, than the Pain invasion put together. It'd just be bad. It'd be worse than Ishiki. But this is this is the toughest threat, Santa Claus. Um, <laughs> dude, I can't I can't keep doing this. We're 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 gonna get out of here. Um, <laughs> we've lost enough brain cells talking about this. Yes. So. Um, again, check out Nolex channel. He makes really good Hello. stuff. I really like him. He's one of my one of my good friends. And subscribe to me, obviously. I'm a goat. But yeah, this if there's anything else you want to say, go ahead. Um, yeah, for everybody, 
let Naruto know, let your homies know, and keep in mind, don't get on Santa's naughty list, or, you know, he's got hands. Also, subscribe to Six. I don't need to explain why, y'all know why. Subscribe <laughs> to him. Have a nice now. day.